Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And in the previous show, I sh told you that I got a new antenna from Tim. It's an OCF antenna. Off-center fed antenna. I think I said off-center frequency antenna in a previous video. You know, it's hell getting old. Anyway, this is a diagram. This is a Bugmaster diagram. And this is kind of what it looks like. It's called OCF because the feed point, which is right here, is off-center from the middle. If it's in the middle, it's considered a dipole. If it's on the end, it's considered an end fit. So this is off-center. And this is kind of how you should do it properly. And I didn't do that. And you can comment on all the stupid things I did when I did my... Okay, let me first describe w the way mine is set up. Mine is, consider this tree is my 20-foot metal pole. And it's connected uh, via pulley at about 15 feet. This leg here, the long leg, goes out to my front yard and points northwest. This leg, and it's about, this end is about... 12 feet in the air. This leg goes basically perpendicular to the side of my house. This is on the side of my house, my, the east side of my house. And this comes down to about 5 feet. And like I said, this is about 15 feet in the air. It's not 35, which it should be a, at least above 20, but this is all I can do. And then I've got the feed line that comes in the window. So that's how I have mine set up. And if we go over here, this is the one that Tim sent me. It's the exact one. It's good for four to six meters off-center fed dipole antenna. Tim, uh, Tim sells a lot of antennas. You can see over here his feedback is 100%. So you can look him up uh, on eBay under T-I-M-O-R-T-I-Z. Okay, now let's get back to the antenna. I did some testing with my analyzer. Here is, let me load a different file first. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, here's the original. Okay, here's the original test I did of the antenna. And this is from 3 megahertz to 30 megahertz. And you can see that it's got a... Um, Low point here at 14.18. I just moved the darn cursor. And it's down to 1.06 SWR. Uh, with this analyzer, which is the MFJ-226, you can measure a whole bunch of things. This is what I normally measure, SWR. So you can see down here, like I showed you, on the 20 meter band, the SWR is way down there. And I come up here to uh, 28 megahertz, which is just above the 10 meter band, which I can operate on, and it's low again. So let's load another file so I can show you what it does up at 6 megahertz. See if it's the next one here. Number two, or is it number three? Okay, this is, this is the sweep that Tim did in the in the data he sent me. He did a sweep between 1.8 and I think like 54 megahertz. And this is what it looks like. So you can see up here at the higher frequencies, there's a low point at 50.355. And back here is a low point at 39 or 40. And then here is the one around 10 meters. So the SWR on this antenna is good at the frequencies I want to operate. So let me load one more file. And that should be number three. It's a beauty of this analyzer also. You can save these files. Number three. Okay, here's number three. And this is a sweep from I think 25 megahertz. I wish it would show you up here what the saved 
start and stop was, but it doesn't. So, yeah, it's from 25 megahertz to 55 megahertz. So here's the 6 meter band right here. And you can see the SWR is pretty good. It does start creeping up a little bit. When you get up to 52 megahertz, it's at 2.6, which is still not too bad. So this antenna, according to my analyzer, should do what I want to. I'm going to hook it up to my ICOM 706 and see if I can make some content. So that's it. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and thanks, Tim, for sending me this antenna to review. Bye-bye.